In this particular project, uh, as I said, we are always focusing on creating value for the act, for the teacher and for the company. But uh, that saying, we we know that the testing material and the testing method it has to be of a certain standard of quality, and we want the researcher to 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 help us with that and to do that. My name is Hannah Elving and I'm the uh, head project manager for Swedish EdTest, which is a newly started national test bed for EdTech in Sweden, which is financed, financed by Vinova, which is the Swedish state agency for innovation. I work for a municipality called Nacka, and the, the, the idea of a test bed is initiated by municipalities, which in Sweden are the owners of schools, and other school owners, private school owners. We have about 60 companies from all over Europe interested in testing. And what we're doing now is that we ask them to describe their testing needs more deeply. It's a school initiated project, but uh, we also, of course, in our project group, in our steering committee, we have the EdTech industry in Sweden represented. Sweden as an EdTech market, if you, talk to, if you talk about the school sector, uh, it's a very decentralized market, so it's a quite hard market to enter and, and grow in. So uh, the testbed is of course a way of, for companies outside Sweden to learn about the Swedish market and also test, will this Finnish product that I develop, will it work in the Swedish school or a German product or etc. And also a way to, we are all, already collaborating with uh, testbed projects in Finland and in the UK and, and we have connections with Germany and or other parts of Europe as well, which are important markets for the Swedish edtech sector to enter. In this particular project, uh, as I said, we are always focusing on creating value for the act, for the teacher and for the company. Uh, but uh, that saying, we we know that the testing material and the testing method it has to be of a certain standard of quality, and we want the researcher to 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 help us with that and to do that. And also in our reference group, we have um, a university in Sweden called Linnea Universitetet, which, uh, and, and there we have a ed professor in EdTech. And he is of course joining uh, the project, both to see how we develop, but also if his student and fellow researchers would like to, to uh, do uh, uh, case studies uh, on what we're doing. And we also have in the project group, uh, Halmstad Högskola or the University of Halmstad which are joining uh, with their teacher training courses to test new products that could help their uh, students to develop higher digital competence uh, but also to do uh, research on, the, on what can you learn from the testing and I think it's quite a lot of uh, interesting questions if I were a researcher that I would ask I mean what is testing a good way of increasing quality in edtech uh, tools and services, or is it not? Uh, what can you learn from collaboration and co-creation, etc., etc.? So we will see. But uh, I, I'm saying it again: we are doing it to create value for the teacher and for for the companies, uh, the edtech companies. Because in Sweden it works like that: that it's always the teacher who asks for the teaching material. It's it's not buy from. It's not a central decision. It's, the, it's a very decentralized decision. So quality in digital tools and dig, digital teaching materials will always be driven from the teacher point of view. So if you don't, you have to empower them to, to do that. The interaction will, will look like that you, as a teacher or a school, you identify your needs. We have a problem with the results or we can see when we evaluate our students that they think that we do not live up to certain standards, etc. etc. So we ask the, the learning environments to, to write these down. And on the same, at the same time, we ask the companies to do it as well. And then we match them and they test together and we support them with the testing material so that they can plan and document and evaluate their tests in the same way as the other tests environments will do uh, and that will also 
create an easy way for them to, to do a test. We are, we are a, a matchmaking testbed in order to create interaction and increase the learning. In Sweden at least, uh, in some cases it has been two silos. You have the education sector here and you have the tech sector or the edtech sector here. On the, uh, on the tech side, not in all companies, but in some, uh, the best reference of how the everyday life is in the classroom is when you self went to school, which is quite a bad reference, I would say. Uh, so actually, we hope that the, the ones taking part in this, the, the teachers, they will increase their knowledge about what's out there and they for sure will increase the knowledge about how can I evaluate. And also on the company side, what, what are the, the everyday needs in the classroom? We would never have done this if they hadn't contacted us. We were starting to, we were started to talk about it, to communicate about it and see, is this a good idea? Do people find it attractive? And if they hadn't called us, I think we would, we would have stopped at the paperwork stage. Because this is, I mean, you, this is the kind of thing that you have, to, um, you have to find out if people are interested in the same idea as you. And one thing that made me especially happy, I'm not a teacher myself, uh, but I was contacted by teachers who told me this is a great idea. We need this. And that for me is a very good evidence that yes, you should go ahead and try out if this works in the Swedish context.